Hey, welcome to The Rop. We're here with Tim Heidecker, the star, producer, and writer, co-writer, co-producer of Mr. America, an incredible, incredible uh, Don't laugh. documentary. <laughs> Why do you laugh saying incredible? Because it made me laugh so much thinking oh, about good. it. I'm thinking about Mr. America and how much it made me laugh. Good. How did you develop the Mr. America character and the story? Well, it, it's for the past eight years or so, Greg Turkington and I have been making this web show on cinema. And what started as a very simple sort of spoof of uh, Siskel and Ebert, you know, two guys reviewing movies uh, who didn't really know anything about the movies and kind of had their particular uh, character, annoying character traits. Uh, I like to say it's like two guys who, if there was anybody else to, the, if there was anybody else in their life, uh, they would be running towards them, but there aren't, so they're stuck together. Um, and Greg all wants to talk about movies, I only want to talk about myself. And that was sort of the dynamic, and through that little very simple chat show, we were able to kind of build this universe and build this sort of soap opera that we didn't have to go out and shoot, we could just talk about, because it was sort of like, what did you do this weekend, you know? Um, and so it started that way, and the more it grew, the more my character sort of found different avenues of things to do and got into a lot of trouble. And, and so it's just been this thing that has existed for a while that uh, the, nat the sort of, we're always trying to find a way to broaden it, bring it into a bigger audience maybe. I don't know. I mean, essentially we just kind of accidentally made this little fake documentary um, for, for sort of for fun, sort of for our audience, but it came out well, it came out strong and we thought, well, let's see if we could put this out as a movie. That's really what it is. <laughs> yeah. But so when we made it, it was so um, fun and easy, and we knew the characters so well that, that uh, it was, wasn't something that took a lot of work. And the character you play, Tim Heidecker, mm -hmm. uh, has gotten away with murder. Yeah, quite literally. And after getting away <laughs> with multiple murders, isn't happy with that, and decides he also needs to run against the district attorney who tried to prosecute him. In mm -hmm. San Diego County. Right, in San, in San Bernardino County. Oh, yeah. did I say San Diego? Yeah. I'm sorry, they're different. Very different. We'll edit that out. In San Bernardino County. Two different County. saints. Right? There's St. Diego and St. Bernardino. Bernardino. I, Bernardino. I, I also totally knew it was San Bernardino. I know. Because I'm just, like obsessed with San I mean, Bernardino. I mean, Mike, yeah. I'm, I'm a master. I mean, a lot of the times I, you know, I flub things. I, I have a sort of dyslexic approach to speaking in my character. But it's also kind of who I am anyways. Yeah. So I play into that. So I'm very sympathetic to your <laughs> mistakes. Well, it's just such a weird setting. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose San Bernardino? Well, it's close. Um, <laughs> I think it's like the furthest. It's the it's the closest you can go, and be as uh, as far away from, you know, the bubble or the kind of L.A. Hollywood thing. You know, it's two hours away, but you really do feel like you're in a, a different uh, different demographic kind of yeah. environment. So uh, it, it also, it's, it does go back to the show, the storyline of the show. Greg set up a, a film archive in Victorville, which is, I don't know, the name Victorville, it's just one of those words that's really <laughs> funny to us, you know? So this, the, the murders that happened took place out there, and yeah, it just, um, it just seemed, it's also because the film, you know, kind of deals with some racial issues and sort of the, the current climate of uh, very xenophobic, uh, anti-immigrant, uh, sentiments happening right now, you know, it seemed like a good, uh, w easy shortcut for us to jump in and f and for me to be sort of this racist, xenophobic character in a very uh, Latina population, uh, lit Latin, Latin, Latin X, is that correct? Latin X. I think so. I'm going to yeah. be careful and respectful. But um, yeah, so just to really amplify and magnify the uh, um, sort of, you know, the Trumpian kind of views, throw me into the deep end of a community that certainly, you know, um, is a high population of, uh, of immigrants and, yeah. and, you know, make it as uncomfortable as possible. Did you interact at all with the real people of San Bernardino? It's Mm-hmm. I know you're so nervous San about saying San Diego. <laughs> I could see it. <laughs> I'm so worried. San Bernardino. Right. Um, we did. And yeah, we did the classic, you know, show up in character, go up to people, say we're shooting a documentary about a candidate, 
running for district attorney and played it very straight and people were very happy to talk. I think what was what made that work was the stakes were so low like the people were like you're running for what district attorney I, okay I don't even know who the district attorney is right. <laughs> now like I don't really care what, do you, what did you want to ask me you know it was that kind of energy so and people were very nice um, and then you know after we had our fun with them we went and said listen hey we're doing it's a, it's a thing so uh, especially the guys in the barber shop the African Americans they were very um, you could tell I could tell <laughs> They were kind of being like, is this a, what is this fucking Sasha Baron Cohen here? Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> well, and yeah. you walk in and immediately say, you're going to get rid of rap music. Get rid of rap music. <laughs> While yeah. they're playing right. pop music <laughs> yeah, in yeah. the background. So they like, but you know, five minutes later, our producer comes in and they were laughing and they're just like, oh, that was hilarious. You know, so I don't want to spoil anybody. You know, it's, it's, uh, we're not trying to, the goal in the end isn't like trick people. You know, we're just trying to create a, uh, a real environment for the comedy to live in. Did you get caught at all? Did word spread around no, the county? No, we were so quick with everything. I mean, we were in and out of there so quickly. <laughs> there was a few people, I, there were a few dodgy moments where like, you know what, this, is gonna, this isn't going so well. Let's get out of here. Let's get in our car and drive away. <laughs> What's a dodgy moment? Like safety or yeah. we've offended people? Uh, both? Well, you know, it's a, it's, it's, there's a dodgy, element to San Bernardino in general like it's not it's a rough little city you know town and uh, we're, we're there with a, I remember one incident we're driving down the street and we got a we got the video camera out because we're just actually kind of shooting street stuff you know giving a little little b-roll stuff and you know a couple of people in, in driving down were like are you filming are you filming me mm. And, you know, it was like hide the camera and take a couple of turns because, you know, people don't, not everybody there wants to be filmed. Yeah. It was that kind of vibe. But, uh, like, you know, most people were nice. We knocked on a lot of doors. A lot of people weren't home, <laughs> you know, which is a funny line in the movie where he's like, you know, I'm going around canvassing and it's like Wednesday at three in the afternoon. Nobody's home. Right. <laughs> so right. Like some of that. That retail politics is like uh, we're, you know, when you're really doing it with no organization or no volunteers or <laughs> no money, is a funny, like impossible mountain to climb for anybody. So 